Exploring, shall I, in English, unraveling the mystery of negative questions. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to another enlightening session on English language learning. Today we're going to delve into an intriguing aspect of conversational English. Negative questions with, shall I? We'll explore how to frame these questions, and how to appropriately use them in different contexts. By the end of this video, you'll be confident in creating and understanding these kinds of sentences. So, let's dive in. Firstly, let's quickly recap what, shall I, means. This is a common form used to make suggestions or offers in English. For instance, when you ask, shall I open the window? You're offering to open the window for someone else. It's a polite and indirect way to propose an action. Now let's move on to our main topic, negative questions with, shall I? You might be wondering what these look like. Here's an example. Shall I not go to the party? Here, you're essentially asking for reassurance or confirmation about not going to the party. To create these negative questions, you start with, shall I, add, not, and then follow with the base form of the verb. So, the formula is, shall I not plus verb? It's that simple. These kinds of questions might not be as common as their affirmative counterparts, but they do have their uses. They're great for expressing uncertainty or asking for advice or reassurance in a polite, indirect way. An example could be, shall I not apply for the job if I don't meet all the qualifications? Here, the speaker is uncertain and looking for advice about applying for a job. Now that you know how to form and use negative questions with, shall I, it's time to practice. Try creating your own sentences following the structure we discussed. Remember, practice is key to mastering any new language aspect. And there you have it, folks. We've unraveled the mystery of negative questions with, shall I? Remember, they're perfect for expressing uncertainty and seeking advice in a polite way. Practice using them in your daily conversations, and before you know it, you'll be using them naturally and effortlessly. Thanks for joining today's session. I hope you found it helpful. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.